In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to design a measuring cup, something similar to this. Uh, we will start by creating some image planes uh, that, that we'll use as a reference and then build up using some curves and uh, offset surfaces. So let's start. The first thing I want to do is go to preferences and change the units to inches. Hit apply. Now I know that the dimensions of the cup are 7 by 4 by 4. So I want to create a cube that will represent my bounding box. So I'm going to start off with a cube. You can use grid snap tool to start from the center or hold control to make a centered cube. So I'm going to create a 7 by 4 and then complete it in the front view double click on it and then maybe edit the size to be exact 7 by 4 by 4 okay now let's go to the top view and just center this cube hit 1 to go into wireframe mode select the cube hit W and just just drag it so that it snaps to the center notice that I have grid 2 snapped uh, grid 2 snaps enabled so I can snap to the center here with this done, I will move this into a new layer that I'll create. Go to the Layers tab, right click and say Add Layer. You can click once and then with a brief pause, click again. Now let's make this the bounding box layer. And select the cube, right click, say Move to Layer, Bounding Box Layer. And at this time, I want to lock this layer. Right? It says you're locking the current layer, but it's okay because I'm going to switch my current layer back to default. With the layer locked, you will not be able to pick, but just use it as a reference. And next we'll see how we can import an image plane and start building on it. Let's go to the top view and in the sketching tab, you will find it, the image plane tool. So just select the tool and I will just draw an image plane, uh, basically a template in the top view. We can resize it later. So once I draw, it's automatically going to pop up this uh, file browser so that you can choose the image. I have the image already set up here in a folder. So I'm going to select it and hit open. It should open the image. Um, and also you can see that the size is arbitrary right now so we want to make the size 7 by 4 so this is going to be uh, make it minus 7 and this will be 4 since we have aspect ratio on it's going to scale it evenly let's keep it at that and turn on mirror horizontal so that we can see the numbers and everything correctly hit the green check mark and now the image plane is a regular object in your model browser you can see image plane number one here so you can manipulate it like any other object you can select it and hit W and now we can just rotate it by minus 90 or, or plus 90 and also use the manipulator arrows to move that into place so at this point I just like to drag it with this XY plane and snap it to the center and then take a look at the size. You can see that the size is a bit off. So we might have to tweak the size of the cube or the size of the image plane to match what we want. To edit the image plane, we can just double click on the object in the model browser. And here, let's turn off the keep aspect ratio so that we can manipulate the size unevenly. And for the length I'm going to type in minus 7 to make it slightly longer and you can see that in the top view I think the length is fine I just have to move the image plane to the center for which I can use one of the grid snaps and right click swipe to complete this operation at this point we're going to turn off the bounding box layer so go to the layers tab and for the bounding box layer just click on this light bulb icon and it's going to turn it off move on to the top view and we will start creating the curves so the first curve we need is just a basic circle 
So I'll try to click and select the free form circle tool and click in the center and just create a circle for the time being. Now in the guide bar for the exact option change it to nerves degree 3 or 5 doesn't matter and we can keep it at 8 points or for this let's make it uh, 12. Now this gives us more points to edit clicking the circle and start moving the points uh, as we need. So let's select all of the points using a box selection bring up the move tool hit alt to bring up the scale and then scale along the y-axis so here are the two curves that I created one is the circle that was placed at the center and also you can see that I've edited the shape using the points and a second circle which is very similar in shape but it's about three-fourths of the way or rather two-thirds of the way between the bottom edge and this top edge here. So you can also create two of these circles and then we can start uh, extruding it. So the first one will be uh, select the extrude uh, we're going to click on the outer circle and extrude it by seven inches because that's the height sorry four inches and now you want to turn on the shaded mode so that we can see what uh, is happening here so with shaded mode you can double click on the extrude and make sure that the draft angle is enabled we want to give a draft of minus 13 degrees and this is something you can try out in the top view and you can see that with the 13 degrees it's uh, matching the edge of the image we have underneath so you want to try whether it's 13 or 13.5 it doesn't matter the point is that there is a draft that's required to meet this shape invoke the extrude tool and select the inner circle give a length of 4 and again add a draft of minus 13 degrees now going back to the top view you can see that we have two extrusions now we need to trim them so that they appear to be following the shape of the cup that is here in this image so basically we need a line to cut across from the side view and we're going to use that uh, top surface which is this one and then blend it with the bottom surface using a loft so let's go to the front view and draw that curve that we need. So we can start with the NURBS curve and we'll just draw a line now and then edit the shape later. So I'm going to use grid snap 2 to snap once and then go all the way across and snap here. Right click swipe to finish. In the next step we will look at how to trim these surfaces and create secondary set of surfaces. So see you there.